What's good y'all, your boy Ross, back at again with another video. So I wanted to ask y'all a question. Who do y'all think is going to win the first match between Drew and uh, CM Punk at this year's SummerSlam? And who do y'all think is going to win the overall feud? Now, I've had time to really think about this. And now with the addition of Seth Rollins being added to their first match at SummerSlam, I think all indications of you know prior booking in the past and if you've watched wrestling as much as i have it just seems as if seth rollins is going to be a deciding factor on who really wins this match and i do think it's going to be a situation where seth rollins will inadvertently cost cm punk and I've always felt that Drew was going to win the first match at SummerSlam because you need to keep the feud going. If you have CM Punk win the first match, the feud is dead. There's no point of even continuing it unless you have Drew win. And you got to have Drew win in a way where it makes sense to have another match. Because Drew can be the one to hype up the idea that I beat CM Punk uh in our you know in his first match back since injury i took care of a cm punk this is why i'm better than him he can go on that 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 uh rant or you know raving about it on monday night raw and weeks afterwards but we all know there's a there's a silver lining to it there's a caveat to him winning either he cheated or something else and i think this would they have it where it's not just going to be him just blatantly cheating i'm sure he will but it'll be a situation where seth rollins even though seth rollins doesn't like cm punk too he inadvertently inadvertently cost him and you can build a story with them later on where seth like look i didn't mean to cost you the match but once again you're cm punk so am i really that sorry and it can play back into what cm punk said to seth I didn't mean to cost you that match, but once again, you're Seth Rollins, so am I really that sorry? See, so you can, you can, you're building up CM Punk and Seth at a later time. It's gonna happen, but you, you CM Punk's hatred for Drew is much greater at this moment. So I can see a situation. CM Punk is about to win. Maybe Seth does something and inadvertently hits CM Punk which costs um, CM Punk the match, Drew picks up the win. So you keep that feud going, and you keep, you, you would have Drew still have the bracelet. You want Drew to still have the bracelet so they can continue the feud. The next match, and I've been thinking about this one too, I'm sure they're going to have, it's going to be a, at least a three series match. I'm sure they're going to have another match at Bash in Berlin since that's literally a few weeks away after SummerSlam. I've been thinking about what type of match it should be. I do think it's going to be a stipulation match because this is about the most regular match we're probably going to get out of this feud. And by regular, I mean Seth is going to be, you know, he's going to have, he's going to give some leeway to certain things, but he's still supposed to act as, uh, you know, or, you know, a stand-in official. So this is probably the most regular match we're going to get out of this. Um, but I do think the the last two matches in this series are going to be obviously gimmick uh, gimmick involved, heavily uh, gimmick involved, uh, like whether, you know, it's going to be some type of stipulation. There's going to be some stipulation that keeps the feud going, and it makes sense because these guys hate each other. So for this one, the second match at Bash in Berlin, I've been thinking of a Falls Count Anywhere because with a Falls Count Anywhere match, obviously they can go wherever they need to go. They can do whatever they need to do. They These guys hate each other. So I was thinking maybe a Falls Count Anywhere match. And I I was thinking that maybe it could be a situation where they these guys have beaten each other up with damn near everything. They've caused a lot of chaos. And the ending of the match could be some crazy type of situation. And CM Punk like just falls on Drew McIntyre because they're both tired and and beaten up and that's how he wins the match you know just they destroying stuff in the back it can get kind of chaotic you want it to be chaotic but CM Punk barely gets the win he falls on him he gets the win 
but they're both completely out of it. They're both completely tired, but he got the win. You can do something like that. Um, I wouldn't do a last man standing match um, because that, to me, I feel like that's more of a, a final match between two individuals. That's like a, a feud ending match. I wouldn't do something like that. Um, I would just do something where it just involves them fighting. You can do a street fight match. You can do a, which they may do a street, a street fight in Berlin. They could title it that, or you can do a lot, um, a falls count anywhere match, something like something of that nature where you can still continue to feud, have CM Punk win, you know, he's just exhausted, but he still gets to win, but you can have Drew be like, nah, you know, Drew still has this hatred for this guy. Drew is still upset with this guy, and he's like, nah, you know, he he barely got the win. You can extend it even further. And then finally, when we get to Bad Blood, either have a Hell in a Cell or three stages of Hell, something that involves them being inside a cage because you want to be able to contain the madness. You want them to be able to contain the madness. You can have Adam Pierce being like, we're ending this in Hell in a Cell at Black, Bad Blood. We're containing this. We don't want what happened at Bash in Berlin where there was chaos everywhere. We're containing this. Y'all finishing this once and for all. And I would have CM Punk win. I wouldn't have him lose. I would have him win. And if you end the feud there. In a Hell in a Cell or three stages of Hell and the last match would be like a, a Hell in a Cell match or maybe a Steel Cage match. Either way, that's how I would do it. We have CM Punk win the feud. And the reason why you have CM Punk win this feud, because you know he need he's going to need the momentum going into his next feud. And his next feud potentially would be Seth. Now, granted, I know a lot of people are maybe wanting that to be WrestleMania. And that's cool. Maybe you could do that. But at the same time, I don't see it being a problem if they do, if that is his next big feud. Because I do think they have other opponents for him at WrestleMania too. They do. So you can either go Seth or you can go another route. But I would go Seth because CM Punk's like, I'm going to revisit. We're going to finish what we started. We gonna, I'm going to handle you later. And I think that would be perfect thing to do there. So I know some people want to wait to WrestleMania to build that feud. And you could. But I also think there's other matches you can put on the card for CM Punk to have a WrestleMania match with. And that's the great thing about this year's WrestleMania. You can set him up for a Gunther, because I do think Gunther will be the world champion still at that point. You can set him up for a Gunther versus CM Punk. What? What? You can set that up. You can set that up easily. So that's what I'm saying. They can go right into the Seth feud. That can last all the way to damn near the Royal Rumble if you want to. So, we will see how it plays out, but I do think Drew will win the first match, CM Punk will win the second match, and the third match, I'm giving it to CM Punk. He wins the feud, and then we move on to a few most likely with Seth Rollins. Who do y'all think is going to win the first match, and who do y'all think is going to win the feud? So, but I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.